Hello friends and family from Disney Springs. Today is really exciting. We're gonna be eating at the Polite Pig for the first time. I know a lot of people have been hyping this up and I'm really excited to try this. Then also, a couple days ago, one of the newest additions to Disney Springs has officially opened. Uh, that is Salt and Straw, the new ice cream parlor. I think we're gonna do Polite Pig for dinner, then over to Salt and Straw for dessert. But before we get started, if you would subscribe and click that bell notification so you're aware of future uploads and live streams, we would greatly appreciate it. It definitely looks like it's gonna be an absolutely beautiful day here at Disney Springs. The balloon is actually up in the air right here, right above the Under Armour store. Then literally, right behind us right here is the Polite Pig. There's usually quite an extensive line that actually goes this way, but there's like absolutely nothing. So what a great time to come here. So we just made our way inside of the Polite Pig and they let us know like you basically just go ahead here and order whatever it is you're ordering right here at the counter. They give you a pager and then you'll just go over to any table that you want in the dining area which is indoor and also outdoor right over here. Then they bring your food out to you. I do want to get a quick once over of the menu though before we officially order our food. They have some shareables. These are your appetizers. They have like a salted pretzel, glazed chicken wings, barbecue meatballs. Those actually sound really good. I think what we're gonna go with right here is the uh, butcher board. It's for two people for $44. You get the polite pork, smoked chicken, prime brisket, cheddar, look at that sausage with slaw, house pickles, two cornbreads, and two market sides. But that sounds really good. Then also for dessert, like these sound good. They have some bourbon chocolate chip cookie, key lime pie, red velvet cake. But this sounds like so good, guys. And how awesome is this? Literally, while you're in the line right here, they have like the big tubs of seasonings and all the different pork. And like they totally like season these right in front of you. And then right behind this gentleman right here is the smoker. Like this is incredible. This shows you like how literally fresh the food is right here. He's getting his another tray ready, then he's gonna season the pork. Talk about Flavor Town right there. Look at that. That's like a dry rub and that looks absolutely delicious. Like, I can't wait to try this. So we just placed our order for our food. Look at this, they have like a sauce bar. Let's see what they have here. Barbecue Ranch, Thomas's uh, Southern Gold. Then you got Layla's Sweet Sauce. And then Little John's Black Pepper. Like, I think we might have to try all of these. So we are all sauced up and ready to go here. The only problem, I don't remember which sauce was which, but we're gonna have to figure it out while we're dipping here. Looks like Brandy got us a really nice booth tucked away right in the corner. Check this out, so they give you utensils in like a brown paper bag. Like that is really interesting. Then right behind us, we have a picture of a pig. It shows you where the shoulder is, the loin, the spare ribs, the bacon, and the ham right there. And you can also just watch them cooking your meal right over here, like in this window, and there's seating right there as well. Okay, so our butcher board just came out, and this looks so delicious. We got the uh, macaroni and cheese for one of our sides. We got the cornbreads, the slaw, the uh, sausage is over here, and Brandy got the Caesar salad. And we also added on some ribs. I think that was a $7 upcharge. We got pulled pork, and finally brisket right over there. Oh, and, and the chicken. And you could have also gotten sliced pork too. This macaroni and cheese looks so delicious. It kind of reminds me of the one that they have over there at a chicken guy. How they put like the breadcrumbs on top, but look at that cheese. Like, this looks so delicious. All right, first things first, let's try that macaroni and cheese. And look at all the cheese dangling there. <laughs> mm. Okay, that's better than chicken, guys, mac and cheese. And those bread oh, excuse me. And the breadcrumbs on top of that are like so like light and airy. They're very, very good. I think next though, I want to try the, uh, the cornbread. I absolutely love cornbread. It looks like maybe like a jalapeno cornbread. You can kind of see some of them in there right there. Mm. Yeah, that's very good. Very, very fresh. I feel like there's so many decisions here. Which one to try next? I think I'm gonna go with the pulled pork though. Let's get a good 
good amount of pork here. Then I want to try that black like pepper sauce. We're gonna dip a little bit of that in there. Then we're gonna give this a whirl. Like how good does that look? This looks so good. All right, here we go with the pulled pork and the black pepper sauce. That is very, very flavorful, like very tender. That sauce is like next level good though. Like it complements that pulled pork like amazingly. That is so delicious. Now I must admit, I'm not the biggest fan of sausages. This one here looks really good, but we're gonna give it a whirl. So it has a lot of crunch. I'm actually getting like a lot of maple. Kind of like almost like a breakfast sausage. That's good. It's very good. So Brandy already started to dissect this piece of the chicken. So we're going to try this half right here. But this looks so good. You can see like all the different seasonings on there. Like completely crusted. Alright, let's go ahead and give the chicken a whirl. Mm. That is so juicy and moist. It's like really, really sweet, the chicken. You kind of get a little heat at the end. Yeah, that chicken's good. Like I said, it's very, very juicy. A little bit of heat at the end and sweet. Yeah, that's good. I'd say it's official here. We ate all of the evidence. I think we're gonna head out into Disney Springs now and go check out Salt and Straw. Okay, the polite pig was absolutely delicious. And like when that means it feeds too, it most definitely feeds too. And again, we added on the ribs for an upcharge. Otherwise, it would have been $44 for both of us. And also, I would say my favorite thing out of all of that definitely had to be either the chicken or the uh, the brisket and which is very surprising again i'm not that big of a brisket person but it was like fall off the bone tender like that good This is also very, very surprising for Gideon's. There's no virtual line. So right now it's just a walk-up list. And actually, like, there's not that many people in the line at all. I would definitely consider Gideon's today if it wasn't for uh, Salt and Straw just opening. So I'm really excited to have some ice cream on this beautiful Florida day. This is perfect timing right here. The balloon is literally just going up. And it is, look at this, guys. Like, there's not a cloud in the sky. It is absolutely just a picturesque, day here at Disney Springs. There's not even that many people in line over here for the balloon at all, which is very, very surprising. I don't know about you guys, but there's seriously something about being at Disney Springs, watching the balloon up in the air, just on a beautiful day. Like, if this doesn't put you in a good mood, I, like, I swear, like nothing will. It is absolutely incredible out today, guys. I'm trying to keep my eyes peeled for some Ampa cars in or around this lagoon area right now. I'm just noticing a few boats over here by the uh, Disney Resort. I definitely want to keep my eyes open though. Brandy just pointed this out to me. Look at right down here, there's a snake. Check that out. Then right over here, there's like a bass or something coming up for water. Like I've never taken notice of this at Disney Springs. Oh, and a turtle over there. <laughs> We're seeing a little bit of everything here today. Oh, there goes the fishy. <laughs> There was another snake though, because it was probably about that big. It was dark brown and like striped. How about that? Snakes, turtles, and fish right there all in one clip by the bridge. Who would have thought? Snakes, turtles, and fish at Disney Springs. So right now we're actually making our way to Salt and Straw for our dessert. But look at this like straight ahead. The crowd levels are extremely low over here. There's not even really many people over here at the food trucks either. Hopefully there won't be a line at all though. So right now we're coming up on Salt and Straw. And look at this guys, there's literally no line to get inside. Which is incredible. It says Salt and Straw Handmade Ice Cream. I think they do have a menu right outside here that I do want to check out before we head on in. But I really like the theming like with the big ice cream cone and the actual hand right there holding the ice cream. Like I said, they do have a menu right over here with some of the uh, limited edition flavors. This one here is the Student 
Inventor Series. Bottomless Limes, the ice cream of Moo. <laughs> Triple uh, Tropic Twist. Rosie the Pink Flamingo. Then they also have some classic flavors. Sea salt, oh, with, with caramel ribbons. That sounds really good. They got double fold vanilla, chocolate gooey brownie. Look at that, that's really interesting. If you guys had smell vision it seriously smells so good in here. The uh, single dips are $6.95, a double, $9.50. They have a kids for $5.75. They also offer waffle cones for a $2 upcharge and sprinkles. The theming in here though is really amazing. They sell some ice cream cookbooks here for salt and straw. Oh, look at these cups right here. These are really interesting. I love you, Florida, and I most definitely do. And then they have some pins here. Look at that ice cream believer. Ha! Check this out. They also have a bunch of waffle makers in the back right here. And they have a sign right here. Let's get straight to the pint where you can actually get some pints of ice cream here as well. Not just the uh, cone. So I went with the salted caramel on a waffle cone. And this it was a single scoop, it kind of definitely exceeds the top there. So a single scoop is definitely enough for one person. But again, like the smell inside of there is absolutely incredible. Like you could smell the waffles cooking. Let's go ahead and give the uh, salted caramel a try. So right off the bat, the first thing you're gonna taste is definitely the salt. So if you're into salt, you could definitely get it. And on the tail end is the caramel. This is very good though. Like this is, you could taste the quality of the ice cream itself. I do want to try the cone though with the ice cream. Hmm. The cone is very flaky and very delicious. Yeah, salt and straw is very good. Okay, I've officially eaten my first ice cream here from Salt and Straw at Disney Springs. And I can honestly say it's a little bit pricey. However, it is very, very good. And like you can definitely tell the quality as you're eating it. It just tastes homemade and so do the waffles. So again, if you're here at Disney Springs, definitely check out Salt and Straw. I just can't get enough of the view today. Actually, there's some guys on the pontoon boat right here. They're actually literally doing a little bit of fishing right there, right in front of me. Then just being able to take in like the balloon and then right over here way out in the distance let me get you guys zoomed in there's one of the uh, ampa cars you can see the ampa car chugging along right there though look at it go that is looks like so so much fun oh there goes the balloon back up <laughs> drop a comment down below though like if you guys have ever ridden on the balloon. What do you guys think of it? Like, how is the view up there? It seriously has to be incredible. I think that's gonna about do it today for Disney Springs. I had such a great meal at Polite Pig. Salt and straw was the uh, cherry on top of the sundae, if you will. If you liked today's video, give it a big thumbs up. And as always, make today awesome.